video back with another cooking video today you guys I'm gonna replace you guys with another dish that is gonna be very 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 delicious all right guys I'm gonna show you guys how to make ba uh, baby back ribs all right in the oven at home juicy and let's get to it all right guys I got the baby back rib over here you can't go wrong with Walmart prices, guys. You can't go wrong with Walmart prices. Walmart prices, forget about it. Look at this bad boy. Damn, it's all bloody. I like it bloody. It's actually not, it's actually, yeah, it's a rip. Let's wash this bad boy up. Look at this bad boy, this big meat. Like the granddaddy of them all, guys. Mm. All right, put this bad boy right here. Show the meat one more time, age. Look at this bad boy, look at that bad boy. By the way, we're recording live as well. Yeah, we guys, we're live right now on Facebook. That's trying to give you a, a live cooking action, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Give me a second, I need garbage. Keep looking at that meat, baby girl. Right. All right, guys, let's season this bad boy. Let's pat him down, actually. Let's dry this guy up. All right, let's dry this guy All up. Right. Pat him down. It's already nice and clean. I got the oven already heating to 375 degrees, guys. Are you watching yet? No? Okay, okay. okay, we pack this guy dry down. Admire that meat. Yum. So what do you think about this meat, H? Wow, it's like humongous. Let's get can't beat Walmart prices, guys. Can't beat it. I'm gonna put a lot, a lot of flavor in this guy over here. All right, let me get this guy over here. This one, put some cumin. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a little bit of ginger powder. Make it nice and nice and gingery. All right, for right now, oregano. All right, for right now is this. All right, I'm gonna add like I always do it, the perfect seasoning. So add this bad boy, add all the dry rubs. Add all the dry rubs, just has everything in it, you know what I mean? That's why I like putting this. Just add them in the corner over here. You gotta season them very good, guys. You gotta season them very good. Let's add a little bit of, uh, Comino. Okay. Got a bit of Comino. So then good. we're gonna add some garlic. Black pepper. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of ginger. Look at this bad boy, guys. Look at this bad boy. Stole the dry rub. looking great then you want to do the same thing on the other side you want to add the all-perfect seasoning you need you need to put the best of both furrows in both sides guys you know what I forgot to put chili powder guys all right let me add the chili powder over here okay 
give a little bit of spice, you know what I mean? Uh, what else? Ginger. Oops. Careful. Pretty hard doing it. Yeah. And yeah. A little ginger. A little black pepper. All that good stuff. Comino. Rub this bad boy up. Let me see something real quick. In a minute, I'll show you. Add a little bit of ginger powder in here. I mean, uh, comino. Not comino. Chili powder. Wash my hands. I got one view right now. Kevin. All right, guys, look at this, look at this, look at this rib. Show the rib, right, Agent? Show the rib. Look at that bad boy. Season it. I season this guy with ginger, all-perfect seasoning, chili powder, cumin, garlic, and pepper. You got to season this bad boy in, in both sides, you know what I mean? Let's get this action, and now we've got the oven, oven preheated to 375 degrees. Now we're going to pop this bad boy inside. Pop this bad boy one more time for this guy the way he looks from before. Now let's get the action. Get this guy in there. Yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna substitute these guys with uh, mashed potatoes and some green beans. All right. So let's see. I'll check you back in a few minutes. All right, guys. Back right now. Let's give you the update how the ribs are looking right now. These bad boys are literally are gonna literally you guys are gonna be sucking your fingers right now after you watch this guy. Look at this bad boy. Look how gorgeous this guy's looking right now, guy. Look at this. Look at this. This house is smelling like freaking BBQs, guys. Literally. All right, I got the water boiling right now. I'm gonna potato. I'm gonna prepare the potatoes to get them inside this, inside uh, the pot, guys. Get my lucky knife. Just chop these bad boys in half. You want to cut these guys in half so they can be quicker to cook, guys. Inside, wash them up pretty good. You gotta have a you know a sharp knife. To get these guys cut. Okay. Bad boy. Okay, get them nice and cut. Let's start putting them inside. Oh way <laughs> This is for the potato salad, guys. Oh yeah. Bam! <laughs> All right. Our potatoes are going. Let's wash this guy. Let's get the green beans out. I was scary. I was gonna burn myself. Don't forget to like, share, and comment, and subscribe, guys. Yeah, good. I hope these green beans are good. Perfect. Put these guys in here. And there. Just wash to give them a good wash. Always gotta wash these guys good. Looking good, looking good, looking good, guys. Oh, I got nobody here. Wash them good. You gotta wash these guys very good. And these guys we're gonna saute. We're gonna saute and give them that little brown, that little char that we did the last time. That that I made green beans. 
But that we do at the end. Just wanted to give it a quick wash. You know what I mean? Got the potatoes going, guys. You saw the rip. I'm gonna add something to the ribs. You know, add. Sorry, guys. Add something to the ribs right now. This is difficult. Let's get this guy over here. This guy's smelling awesome right now, guys. You see, I think blood. Yeah, I know there's blood. You're gonna see blood. You're gonna see blood as much as you can, but this guy is cooking. This is the beginning stages, you know what I mean? I'm gonna add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. I never know how to say that guy. But I'm gonna add a little bit right on top to give it that smoky flavor. Mm. Just pour it on top just like that. Let it marinate into it with the heat. You know what I mean? You can add Worcestershire sauce. You can add even A1 sauce on top of this bad boy. Just to give it that smoky flavor. So let that bad boy sit there, let it cook more. Looking at another probably half an hour to 20, 20 minutes to half an hour for this bad boy to cook. But uh, potatoes are going, got the green beans washed, the ribs are in the oven. I will see. Got potatoes done already in the, in the stove. It's boiling, it's nice and soft. Let's take these bad boys out of here. Pour these bad boys inside here. Woo, it's nice and hot. I'm gonna put these bad boys in these bowl. Just let it soak up the water. In there. I like to leave the skin on of the, of the um, potatoes. A lot of proteins in it, you know? You can't go wrong. We got a potato masher. Down. Make sure you get the lot into it. Make sure you get the big one too. Let's mash this. Let's mash these bad boys until they are nice and crushed. Smash these guys. They're about, they're about right. Nice and hot. That's about right. Everything looks mashed. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, guys. Mm -hmm. 
a little bit more, a little, a little bit more mayonnaise. Little stop. A little bit of black pepper. Good to go. These bad boys are mashed, looking great. Ready for the ribs. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. John's Kitchen. Bad boys are done. Let's taste these guys. Taste these. Mm -hmm. Wow. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Too hot. Alright. Potato salad is done, guys. Potato salad is done. Got the ribs over here. Let's check on them. Oh my God, look how juicy these bad boys are. You better zoom in on this. You can hear that bad boy sizzling. Woo hoo! Check this ribs out right now. This ribs been here for at least 45 minutes to an hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 45 minutes to an hour. I just kept putting Worcestershire sauce on top of it so you know it could it could give it a little bit of good flavor and smoky flavor. You know what I mean? Little yeah, smoky fair technical difficulties now. Look at this bad boy guys. I think these ribs are about done. Let's get these bad boys out of here. Looks so good. Looks so good and crispy. Last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna cook the ribs, I mean the, the green beans. That's gonna be the last thing we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. All right, so give us a second. Let's get this guy out of here. And then we're gonna plate it. Then we're gonna, then I wanna plate it. Exactly. Add another towel somewhere. Let's get this guy over here. Look at this guy, come on closer, come closer. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look how juicy this bad boy is, bruh. Oi! And it's so hot. <laughs> Oi, that's a cardiac. Cut this. Cut this oven off. <clears throat> Alright guys. Another thing. You wanna sit, you wanna sit the ribs in here because you don't wanna just cut it right away. The minute you cut it right away, you're gonna you're gonna lose all the juices out of it. It's gonna be just dry. You know what I mean? But you just leave it, let it sit there, let it rest, and a couple of minutes, couple of minutes to 15 to 20 minutes, then you start slicing them. Alright? In the meantime that that, that that's uh, um getting prepared, let's start cooking the um the green beans. Yeah. Saute these bad boys. Pot going. Roll one. Come on, guy. Really? You want to play with me now? <laughs> Come on, guy. Guess we got some technical difficulties with the, the stove. Let's use this bad boy in the back. Let it go. And the spoon. Done, guys. After we do this, we're gonna plate these bad boys. <laughs> there we go. There. Sometimes you gotta use both to get those. Uh, get them. Get them uh, turned on. Let's heat this up. I like to saute my uh, green beans with, with uh, butter. It gives it a nice flavor. It, char it chars it. It gives it a nice, nice, nice buttery. Add a little bit of salt, add a little bit of pepper, come out delish. Heat up. Yep. Yeah. Takes a while. Okay, 
Nice and hot, guys. Nice and hot. Wow, these ribs looking amazing, guys. Looks amazing. Wow. Nice flavor, too. Nice, it's getting nice and hot. Let's add these bad boys in. I washed them, remember? Mix them up. The bad boys cook. Once you hit that sizzle, you know it's working. Add a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Good to go. Mix, 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 mix. Bad boy. Let's take a little time to heat up. Yeah, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. You know we, you know we need more subscribers, and. We're doing a lot of good things for the channel, guys. We just need more audiences so we can provide you with more and more and more videos, good videos, content, and more delicious food. Most, a lot of delicious mouth-watering foods for you guys to be like, damn, this guy knows how to cook. All right, guys. So now you can hear it. You can hear it starting sizzling a little bit, getting heat up, getting nice and hot. Give it a little shake, that's all you gotta do. Give a shake. Let them uh, blend in together. You can see the little green beans coming out of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're sizzling a little bit. They're heating up a little bit, guys. Once they heat up, it's gonna be done in an old time, in a little jet. While I'm waiting for this bad boy to heat up, cheers, salut, and hope you guys enjoying your evenings. You know what I mean? Now they're starting to sizzle. Bam, bam, just like that. I like to clean as soon as it gets dirty, guys. You gotta clean the stove, can't let it get dirty and greasy. And it's gonna give you a hard time later on, you know what I mean? Always maintain it, maintain it nice and clean. Nice and sanitized, too. Well. They're almost done, guys. They're almost done. Yeah, I love preparing this dish, guys. I love it. A lot of, lot of, lot, 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 lot of minerals. So good, man, I'm telling you. So good and tasty. Everybody, I don't think, I don't know who, who does not like a meal like this in the, at home with a nice cold brew. You know what I mean? Don't forget to like, share, and comment, and subscribe, guys.
just like the green beans about done, guys. Nice and tasty and crunchy. That's how you want them. They're done. Now let's take the um the rib. Excuse me, lady. Pop this bad boy open. Still nice and hot. Probably one person eats that whole thing. Here. That he's a big man. Get this rib right over here. Ooh, I can smell, I can smell those spices. So good. Yeah, my favorite night. All right. You can go from the side so I can see better. Oh yeah, look at this rib guy. Look at this rib. Look at this rib guy. Hold on. It's nice and cooked. You can see that? You guys, there's so much bone here. Mmm, this one tastes so good. Mmm. Wow. How many bones are you gonna cut? There's so much bone here. Mm -hmm. Bone here. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Oi, oh. I gotta put this. I gotta put this in a plate. Yeah. I'm just making a mess everywhere. It smells good. I bet this smells so good. So awesome, guys. Mm -hmm. This taste is like really phenomenal. Mhm. Mm this guy right here. Who does not like meat? I'm telling you, bless you vegetarian guys, but this meat is so good. That part. Good. That's the rib. No, that. That's the rib. That's a uh, Worcester sauce. Oh, that kind of looks like good. <laughs> Is that? Look at this rib, guys. Let's, uh, let's plate this bad boy. Look at that meal, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna end this video right now. Hope you guys, hope you guys enjoy this video. Enjoy what I cooked. This meat came out so delicious, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button. And don't forget to share this video and leave your comment below. All right, guys. So, like we like 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 always, Rizzo out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.